Hi guys, Coach Chris here and today we're going to discuss about the part 2 on how to learn how to do a kettlebell swing in a safer and stronger way. So for the first, uh, first part of our video series for the kettlebell swings, we'll discuss about finding your distance from the kettlebell and how to preload your hips before doing a kettlebell swing. Just in any case that you find that going or bending down this slow is too challenging for you at this stage, you may use the help of a step. So this is how we're going to use that step. So it's placing the step in front of us and just elevating the height of the kettlebell. So from there, I can still do my setup, hinge my hips back, but my back now doesn't need to bend or my hips can bend to its safe position and at the same time still loading up my hamstrings and my glutes. Okay, so feel free to use this option in any case that you do need it. Right, so for today, we'll be discussing more about the second part of the kettlebell swing or learning how to use the kettlebell swing, which is the high pass. So the high pass is the action wherein we use our legs to drive the kettlebell back in order for our hips to be loaded more then from that position we're going to extend our hips in a very strong way squeezing the glutes to get the kettlebell floating up in the air at the same time lowering down our arms the kettlebell leads our arms and then from there we're going to high pass back again then extend our hips in a very strong way to get the kettlebell floating in front of us. I'm going to show it to you a few kettlebell swings so we can see what I'm referring to. So get the setup right first. Okay. Hinging my hips back. Preloading my hips. Then shoulders down, high passing it. of kettlebell swings as you can see over there each rep that I do my hips are required to bend backwards and in that way I'm executing that high pass each rep each rep that goes by so that I can draw power from my hips keep my lower back safe and making the most out of each kettlebell swing so how are we going to go to do our high passes it's pretty simple so again set yourself up proper distance from the kettlebell, preloading your hips. And all we need to, to do there is using our legs, it's quite important to keep our shoulders down, use our legs to pull the kettlebell back. Think as if you're trying to pull the kettlebell down behind you. So from here, I'm going to do five high passes. Short inhale first, exhale. Exhale. Whew. All right. It's quite a good one. Even just doing the high passes. It gets your heart rate up. It teaches you how to receive load from your hips. So give those high passes a shot. Always remember, legs do guide our arms to drive the kettlebell back. Think of it like a bow and arrow that you're pulling the string back to load the hips and once the string has reached its maximum bending, same as your hips, you're going to let go of the string, therefore same action that our hip does. So give this high passes a try.